Hello YouTube, this is Sil Rage Dave. I'm back in the garage again. It's Monday night. Uh, big shout out appreciation to everyone out there. I put that video up yesterday, uh, you know, before the Glass City Marathon, and, and that went yesterday uh, uh, pretty well. It was a, a hard race. I wasn't trained well enough for it. I had some a uh, little bit of illness during the, the training the really last few months and uh, didn't put in anywhere near the miles I should have put in. And so it went slow, but, uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? So got to the finish line. The last six, seven miles were beautiful. I was cruising along, but early in the race, I was having a, you know, a lot of issue. And uh, all those comments, you know, uh, all you guys being behind me like that, I, I really appreciate it. That stuff really makes a difference. I know who you are. Uh, you know, and, and, and anyway, my thank you. So, uh, I have a video that I shot, oh, maybe two, three weeks ago. A friend came in from out of town. He had just recently found my channel and he asked if he could come to the comic room and just asked me some questions. And he said, well, Dave, do you want me to go over these with you? And I said, no, Paul. I said, let's just go in there and just ask me the questions blind and I'll answer them and, and we'll just see what happens. And so uh, I wanted to put up today the first question he asked me. Uh, I, you know, the, the answer I, I, I could easily go through and I could edit it and put little words at the bottom, but I'm just going to let it play the way it plays. And, um, and anyway, here's that video. Hello YouTube, this is Silverage Dave. Today is a special question and answer edition. Uh, we're joined today by a long-term good friend who disappeared for a while. He put on a special shirt. I'm just going to show you the front of his shirt. And Paul found my channel not too long ago. And he's been watching, but he said he's got questions for me. And we haven't done a Q&A. So, you know, Paul said, hey, how about if I come in and I ask you some questions? And you can answer. And I said, that'll be fine. And I said, well, Paul, do you want to be on screen or anything like that? And he said, no, let's just do it the normal way. So uh, what I thought is I'm just going to walk around and show some books. I, I probably, you know, think better on my feet anyway. And then uh, Paul's going to ask away. Paul, what part have I embellished? Any part of this story that you want to touch on? Uh, so far, your testimony has been completely true. See, I didn't even swear on the book yet. I said so far. So far. All right, so uh, we're having a couple of beers, and uh, we're just going over. Uh, today, it, it's raining terribly in Toledo, so I took the opportunity. I did a little comic hunting this morning, had some great finds. Some of those I might be showing in the near future. Who knows? Uh, but, Paul, why don't we just dig right in? What all are you right. wondering, my man? All right, so I've, I've seen all your videos. Big fan. And you talk a lot about your busha. And when you were young and you found some great hauls, but a lot of it was going down to the store direct. Find those those key issues that mean a lot to you. So now I'm thinking here it is all these years later for you. And when you buy a book that's an older book, does it make you feel young again? Does it make you feel the way you felt when you were a kid? Does it remind you of all those good parts of your life? Or is it kind of the thrill of the hunt? Or is it 50-50? How does it break down for you? Uh, you know, and, and I'm, you could probably tell already, Paul, I'm getting a smile, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Every single comic I buy, uh, I don't care if it's a big key issue. I don't care if it's a nothing in the middle filler issue, whether I have one copy or ten. Every single comic is special. Um, I think what I love most about it it's just it, it, you know part of it does take me back there's something pure and, and innocent about it uh you know if you turn on the tv or you watch a movie uh, i always feel like you're you're getting something for free and um and I, i'm gonna put a little caveat in there is that i you know the the perception is you're getting something for free but i think what you're giving up is you're giving up your imagination because they're going to tell you what to think. They're going to tell you through the magic of, of film of how to feel about a certain scene. They're going to direct you. And, um, you know, on a comic book, even though they're drawing the pictures and even though they are writing the story, 
I remember as a kid, sometimes I'd see a certain panel and I wouldn't really even need to read the story. I'm imagining it in my head what I think could be happening, almost, almost like a personal what if. And so every time I pick up a comic, you know, my thought is always, what adventure am I about to embark on? And, and I've got enough. I don't, I don't read them all. There's no way. I've got enough comics now. Uh, I could never read them all. But every single one I pick up, every time I go hunting, I'm facing that awesome possibility that, um, that something awesome is going to happen, you know, for me in, in, you know, that imaginative side of me. All right, guys. So that was my answer to Paul's question. And um, then I went on a tangent. I saw that lost blueprint and I started talking about that. But, uh, you know, that, that happens maybe to the best of us, right? So uh, ultimately, though, you know, the hobby for me comes down to passion. A lot of you guys have reached out and asked me questions and, you know, uh, related to that kind of stuff. And so that was probably the best answer. Uh, I, I, I loved answering it. And, um, you know, there's times in my life where... The passion has waned. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be God first, family second, work third, and then a whole lot of other stuff that falls in there. That uh, that's way more important. This is just a hobby. I think there's there's people sometimes that that take it so seriously that make it uh, you know seem so much more important than it really is. And and trust me, I love it. I love these books, but they're just books, and and it's just a hobby. So. What, what my two cents is, is follow the passion. Uh, there have been times in my life where the passion has waned. Other things become so much more important. And, uh, and I have walked away from it for years at a time. Sometimes five years or more have gone by that I lock these things up, shut the lights, and I close the door, and I just go away because that's what I have to do. And uh, fortunately, a magic thing happens that when I reopen that door... Um, the passion comes back and I start opening boxes up and I start looking at books and it's like I'd never seen them before. Um, it, it just, it fills me right back up. And I, I think that's what I love most about the hobby is, um, is it just, it's here for us. You know, the books are here for us. They're whatever we want to make of them. And, um, and it's never left me empty. So, uh, that's what I wish for you guys. Um, you know, always focus on the things that matter first. And then if you have the luxury to, to be involved in this hobby, then, then be passionate about it. Follow your heart. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. Do what's best for you. And, uh, you know, this channel, I always, I consider it our channel and, uh, I always want to be positive. I want to be uplifting. I want to leave you with a smile because this world doesn't always do that. So I appreciate everyone spending a little bit of time with me and, uh, and listening to my stories and getting to know me. And I'm loving getting to know you guys. I really am. Uh, anytime you get a chance, please reach out if you have questions or, or comments or you're wondering anything. Uh, you know, please feel comfortable reaching out to me. Uh, you guys, that, that race, I can't say enough. Um, all the positive messages I received, uh, really appreciate them. Um, you know, it was a hard race yesterday. There were quite a few points where I thought, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. But you guys were in my heart. You were in my thoughts. And, uh, you know, along with so many other good people that, that I care about. So uh, thank you for that. And with that, this is Silver Age Dave. I am out. All right. So, so Paul, how was my answer? Um, yeah, up until the end, we were doing good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, no one will accuse me of not being talkative. Very good.